what's going on guys well here we are we're at session number 150 um, you know I really like to think that every 50 beer reviews is a feat uh, because it you know it takes a lot of time and effort to you know crank these videos out on a regular basis in addition to doing my day job uh, and taking care of things around the house so you know every 50 beers I really like to you know look at the collection find something that stands out at the moment as being special uh, and really share that with you. Before we get into the beer itself though, I just want to invite you guys to come back after the credits uh, because I've got a list of people that I would like to thank and these are just people who have helped me with trades or donated beer to the site uh, between the 100th review and this one. So stick around and I uh, uh, really appreciate those of you who donated or traded with me. But as it stands today, uh, we are going to be looking at the L. Smith Speedway Stout. And you're probably like, dude, why is it all the way down here? Well, I've decanted a lot of it off uh, into a 12-ounce uh, swing top bottle just because I really want to take my time with this one. Um, and also, it's pretty big. It's a 12% beer. Um, and it's, it's an Imperial Stout that they brew with Ryan Brothers Coffee. Um, anyway, I've heard nothing but good things about this beer. Uh, you know, it's consistently been on the best of beer list on Rate Beer and Beer Advocate. Uh, believe it or not, it's the first Alesmith beer that I've ever had. Um, and I haven't even gotten to try this one yet. Again, you know, I opened the bottle, started pouring it in, um, and really kind of, let me shake that water out there, save the rest of it for this review. But let's go ahead and uh, get this one underway. And man, I'll tell you what, just pouring that out of the bottle... Um, I could tell earlier when I poured it into the swing top bottle that this is probably one of the blackest beers I've ever seen. I mean, it literally pours out like engine oil, uh, old engine oil at that. It's, I mean, squid ink black. You can't see anything through it. In fact, the only thing I can see when I hold this up to the light is myself in the reflection. So um, the head on it's got that really nice... Uh, it's almost it's brown. Uh, it's kind of a roasted hazelnut brown color. Um, so because the beer is so dark, uh, the head color on it tends to be a little bit darker as well. Um, it's a very tight uh, head on there, really frothy. If you you know give it a little whirl like that, you can see that. I mean, it's really sticking to the side of that glass. It's a very very viscous beer. But let's go ahead and smell it. Um, to be honest, I can already smell it. 12%, something this big, it's going to fill the room with uh, the aromas that are coming out of there. So let's get in there. So I'm getting a lot of things on this, believe it or not. Nothing that I haven't smelled on an Imperial Stout before, but you have the dark fruits in there. Uh, there's a ton of bittersweet chocolate. I am getting some of that coffee bitterness as well. Uh, definitely the dark malts. Uh, which are, you know, giving us that fruity character. Um, they do brew it with coffee beans, like I said earlier, so I can really smell that. A really good amount of that dark, bittersweet chocolate. But, um, yeah, and I can tell that it's probably going to be a little bit sweet. It kind of has a sweet aroma. But, you know, aside from the roasted malts, the chocolate and the coffee, I think it's pretty straightforward. Uh, but let's go ahead and dig in there and see how it tastes. All right, well, cheers, guys. Woo. Yeah, that's a monster. So, man, this one really reminds me a lot of those European Imperial Stouts. So when you think about uh, De Molen, uh, Nugner, uh, you know, breweries like that that really brew those strong, intense, dark imperial stouts, that that's really what this one reminds me of. There's a good amount of sweetness. Um, I'm getting a lot of bittersweet chocolate. I think bittersweet chocolate on the palate um, is the most prominent flavor, uh, followed, you know, just after that by the roasted coffee. Yeah, and those malts just go on and on and on. I mean, they're really kind of holding this beer together. Um, yeah, I'll tell you. I, I think, you know, for people who are able to share a bottle like this with, hell, three or four other people, this is a really, really nice treat. Mm. 
Yeah, I, I, you know, I don't know how else to uh, say it. I mean, it's big, it's chewy, it's chocolatey, lots of coffee. Definitely get the, you know, the sweet dark fruits in there. It's very well balanced, even at 12%. I'm not getting a whole lot of burn, and in fact, I've been hanging on to this bottle for about two years, so I would imagine that any sort of heat that was on there at, during bottling um, has probably died out quite a bit. But yeah, just a really enjoyable beer. It's a great beer to kind of sit here and contemplate and think about uh, the last 50 episodes. And, you know, I just want to thank you guys for continuing to come back. Um, you know, it really is a lot of fun for me. Sometimes it's work. Sometimes I go through, you know, rough phases where I feel like I don't want to do it anymore. Um, and then you guys leave really nice comments, and that makes me feel good, and it pushes me to go even further. Uh, but really, I like enjoying these beers. I like sharing them with you. Um, like hearing about your experiences on them. So, you know, leave me a comment if you've had this beer. Let me know what you thought of it. Um, but yeah, really enjoyed it. And again, hang around after the credits. Uh, because there are a few people that I would really like to thank. But um, until we get together next time, thanks a lot for coming back. My name is Mark Starr, and we'll see you. Cheers. Thanks for hanging around. I really appreciate it. <clears throat> Hope you enjoyed that review. Boy, I'm telling you, this is a huge beer. Um, a really good celebratory beer at that. So really glad I opened this one up today. But um, I wanted to thank a few of you guys publicly um, and on video because really without your help, a lot of these beers wouldn't be possible on the show. Um, so I just want to run through a quick list and thank those of you who have either donated beer or have traded with me. Um, I want to give my first shout out to John. John, you're actually responsible for this beer, so really appreciate that. You know, we do a lot of trading, um, and I always know that I'm going to get really good beers when you send a package, so thank you. Uh, Jordan, also in California, you know, we do a trade usually every year, uh, once a year when Hop Slam comes out, but hey, you know, I'm always willing to trade uh, good Midwestern beers for those California beers. And uh, I'll try to get some of yours on the show here soon. In fact, I think we did the Damnation the other day, uh, which was yours. I wanted to move on next to uh, a guy named Andrew in Michigan. Andrew, you know, you've, you've sent me the, uh, uh, what beers did you send me? The Shorts beers. Sorry about that. Um, and I'll be getting to those here pretty shortly. Um, I really enjoy the ones that I've drank so far off camera, but hope to have those on. Thank you for those. Really appreciate it. Dave in Oregon, I, I don't know what else to say. I, I mean, probably one of my top three traders. I love having access to Oregon beers. Um, I think your favorite store is probably my favorite store. Um, and anytime you want to trade, I'm willing to do that. So, Dave, thank you. Really appreciate it. Steve out of New York, um, I think we you know, did a beer not too long ago that you had done a trade with me on. Uh, I'm kind of drawing a blank on it right now. I know it was one of the sour beers that we did. Um, but anyway, I really appreciate you sending that great beer. Probably one of the best that I have had uh, so far this year. It was the uh, Cuvée de Castleton. That's what it just uh, came to me. So thank you, Steve. Paul out of New Hampshire. Um, I know that you sent quite a few variety of beers. Not uh, probably, I don't know, six, seven months ago. Uh, but a, a few of those made it on to uh, the last 50 reviews. So, you know, really appreciate that. Look forward to possibly trading with you in the future as well. And then finally, Louie, who is also in Oregon, uh, sent me the Westie 12. <clears throat> I think I thank you, thanked you on the video itself, but just wanted to thank you again. Uh, and just wanted to say, you know, I really appreciate the trades, really appreciate the good beers. I hope you guys enjoy these sessions, and uh, that's it for today. So we'll see you hopefully at 200. All right, guys, cheers.